Welcome back everybody for another video in the Did You Know segment with Dr. Whiting here. Of course, I am Ezra with Phoenix Nutritionals and we want to talk, discuss a little bit a couple of the questions from viewers and uh, customers. So first off for Dr. Whiting, why are trace minerals so deficient and essential to supplementing? The trace minerals make up the largest group of nutrients in the human spectrum. There are at least 56 of them. And uh, they have been deficient for all, nearly 100 years now because of farming techniques. Um, the uh, farming industry discovered that if they used uh, NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potash or potassium, they could increase the yield, they could reduce the growing time, and make some money. And so they failed to replace all of the micro trace elements because they didn't consider them economically viable. And that's still to today. And that's still to, to this day, unfortunately. And so that is the reason why they're so important. Well, they're the most efficient. Yeah. And so therefore, technically, they are uh, essential to supplement because it's about the only way you can get them anymore. Yeah. Okay, um, next question is, explain in a nutshell what water-soluble and fat-soluble vitamins, the difference and similarities. Most all nutrients, most vitamins, most minerals, antioxidants, etc., are water-soluble nutrients. And what we mean by that is that they are suspended in the fluids of your body. And because of that, they pass out of the body within 12 to 24 hours, depending on your metabolism. This is why we always say that it's essential to take your supplements on a daily basis, not just when you remember and not just when you think it's the right time because your body cannot store these uh, for any length of time at all. Now, there are some fat-soluble vitamins. Those include A, D, E, and K. Those can be stored in the body, primarily in the liver. And uh, so the storehouses of those can last uh, a bit longer internally, but they still need to be replaced on a somewhat regular basis. Uh, so when we harp and, and, and pick and yell at you about taking your supplements every day, this is the primary reason for it, because your body by nature cannot hold these substances longer than 12 to 24 hours. Got it, got it. And so I have heard over the past couple of years that people, um, and of course we'd never encourage overindulging, but I've heard over the past couple of years that best trace minerals, um, after maybe overindulging or what you would so call the hangover, um, people getting benefit from best trace minerals after overindulging or a hangover. Why is that? Is that even a real thing, or or is that maybe just because, like you say, essential trace minerals are so deficient? Well, consider that alcohol consumption uh, has a, well, several potentially negative effects on the human body, depending upon how uh, extreme you use it. But alcohol in general, at any amount, uh, is a diuretic. So what it's going to do is it's going to accelerate the excretion of water-soluble nutrients. And we've already discussed that the body can keep those only for about 12 to 24 hours. Well, if you have a really good time one night, uh, the chances are that you have depleted all of your water-soluble nutrients uh, within a few hours uh, because they pass out via the urine. And you can just tell how many times you're uh, getting up from the party and going to the bathroom um, when you're drinking heavily uh, you kind of can figure out on your own uh, where everything is going. Yeah. And uh, the trace minerals are one of the, of course, the, the groups that are of nutrients that are most efficient. And they are also water-soluble. 
So that presents a double problem, which is accelerated uh, during uh, periods of uh, uh, increased alcohol use. Yeah, yeah. Why do so many vegans and vegetarians love our best trace minerals? Well, because they're all plant-based. First of all, yeah, and second of all, vegans or vegetarians are no different than anybody else. Uh, they may eat a vegan diet, which is high in, in vegetables, fruits, and grains, but keep in mind the soils on which those crops were grown have no more trace minerals because they've never been replaced. Yeah. So whether you're a vegan or a meat eater or somebody in between, you're still not going to get the adequate amount of those micro trace elements. So not only is it good for them as well as everybody, but because they're plant-based, uh, they can consume them uh, with uh, comfort and confidence. Got it, got it. And so a lot of people think of stress and stress support nutrition when they think of that, they think of B-complex and panathenic acid. Even me, myself, whenever I think of stress support formulas, I think of B-complex, panathenic acid. And we know that that's not the case of it's just those two nutrients. What other nutrients need to be present for a full spectrum stress support formula? Well. Uh, obviously, uh, as you indicated, the B-complex is at the core or the foundation uh, of any stress support formula. Pantothenic acid being one of those B vitamins uh, can be con uh, uh, consumed or utilized by the body chemistry in very high amounts during periods of acute stress. But there's more to the story than that. First of all, calcium and magnesium. Hmm. Now, we know that calcium is a calmative mineral. Yeah. Your grandmother used to give you a glass of warm milk before bed, and if you weren't lactose intolerant, it actually helped you sleep. Yeah. Uh, so that should be included. And then we have a, a, a spectrum of herbal extracts that have been shown to be extremely uh, calming. Valerian root, passion flower, chamomile, uh, and there are others that uh, should also be included, in my opinion, in a well-rounded stress support formula. Uh, that way it is economical and convenient to take, and you don't leave anything out when it's all in one package. Nice, nice. Okay. Does the ketogenic diet cause micronutrient deficiencies? Any diet, if it's done incorrectly, can cause nutrient deficiencies. Uh, whether it's a, the so-called balanced diet, low calorie diet, low carb diet, keto diet, etc., etc., uh, you have to do them correctly. And if you do, uh, then you should be pretty much okay. Now, at our research center, we always, always insist that anyone that goes on any of our weight management programs, regardless of which one they end up going on, according to their chemistry, they take a full spectrum multivitamin mineral every day. Yeah. Because when you're eating whatever you want, we know that people are deficient in at least 50% of optimal nutrients. Well, if you're dieting and you're restricting food intake one way or the other, it is clear that you'd be getting less nutrients and not more. Yeah. So uh, without going into deep uh, uh, discussion, uh, a good multivitamin mineral formula can actually assist in your weight loss goal. Yeah, in every type of diet, yeah. Do collagen supplements work for skin and joint health? Now there's a loaded question. Think about this though. There, there appears to be some benefit, uh, but it isn't nearly the uh, walk on water uh, solution to aging. Uh, 
all proteins, whether they be collagen, whether they be animal, whether they be plant proteins, it doesn't matter. When you ingest proteins, your body breaks them down into individual amino acids. So there are no whole proteins left. Mm. Whole proteins in the bloodstream would be deadly. So uh, that's not going to happen. Uh, there might be some evidence to say that when collagen protein is broken down, um, some of the higher percentages of amino acids might have some benefit. But keep in mind that when you consume collagen in any form through your digestive system, it's not going to stay as collagen protein. Like all other proteins, it's going to be broken down into individual amino acids and reassembled by your chemistry according to need. Okay. And can the vegan or vegetarian diet provide all the necessary nutrients for optimal wellness? I think after what we just discussed, it kind of shows that it couldn't. It's possible. Uh, any diet is possible, uh, providing you do it right. But here is the problem with dieting. Uh, number one, uh, people go on the wrong diet. They, they read something in a magazine or a friend did something, ooh, I lost 20 pounds, and so everybody that knows them does the same thing. Yeah. And they're not likely to get the same result. Second of all, we're basically lazy creatures. So whether you go on a vegan diet or calorie diet or anything in between, uh, after a while, people get lazy. They tend to eat the same things over and over. They tend not to cook balanced meals within their program. They tend to snack and nibble instead of uh, focusing on a more wholesome intake. And lastly, they're probably not taking a multivitamin mineral, which in my opinion, after 40 years of dealing with weight management problems, I think not doing that is one of the biggest kisses of death you could do. Yeah. Can intermittent fasting lead to malnutrition? And again, intermittent fasting has proven to be fantastically beneficial, not only for weight loss, but for your overall metabolic health. You have to keep in mind that our ancient ancestors uh, did intermittent fasting not by fad and not by choice, but by necessity. Uh, our ancestors, uh, had a lot to do and they didn't have uh, supermarkets and they didn't have a lot of conveniences and they had to go out and hunt and gather and shoot and fix meals and it was not uncommon for them to eat a very large meal once every 24 hours and now today we call that so-called normal lifestyle of those people uh, something new and improved and yeah. exciting called intermittent fasting when in fact, it's basically taking us back to the roots of our genetic origin. Can the, uh, an intermittent fasting program provide all the nutrients? Again, uh, if you do it right. Uh, you usually have a two hour window between fasts and if you eat a, a, a balanced intake uh, and even on a keto program, uh, you can you can get the right vegetation and the right proteins and the right fat. But as I said before, and will stress forever, take a good multivitamin mineral formula if you're choosing any type of dietary program for weight loss. Yeah. Well, great. This was a really good, uh, good list of questions and we will be back soon with another list of questions. So please, if you have any questions or comments and or questions for the next video please post them below and we will um answer them in the next video we'll add them to the list so thank you very much and uh see you soon